talk a little bit about depression. I um, really saddened to hear the news on Kate Spade. As most of you know, she unfortunately took her life recently, and um, I think it really brings light to the whole issue of mental health and how impactful it can be not only to the individual going through it, but to the families that surround them and the impact it has on them. For example, her 13-year-old daughter, who is now going to unfortunately have to deal with the loss of her mother and why. And at that age, you just don't understand. I mean, uh, just imagine how people feel that um, don't even understand depression and mental health um, illnesses how they don't understand, let alone a 13-year-old child who is still just trying to discover life and um, the repercussions of things that could happen in life. And it's just, it's a difficult situation and it's a topic that hits very close to home for me personally. And I feel like we need to talk about it. We need to shed light on this subject and, you know, let people know that they're not alone, that there are people out there that will help them or relate to them. And sometimes people don't even want to get help, but they just want to get in touch with somebody that's been through it, you know, and I personally struggle from severe depression and anxiety on a daily basis. And not just the anxiety that people talk about, like, oh my goodness, when I do this, I get anxiety, you know, and I'm not diminishing that, but there's people that actually suffer from severe anxiety and have to take medication for it and get panic attacks and all that stuff. That's me. I have it really, really bad. I can do a whole nother video on anxiety just because I suffer from it so badly and I have since I was a little girl. But when I was a little girl, we didn't talk about it much. You have to get professional help. That's what's most important in this whole topic is that you can't do it alone. And you have to know that you're not the only one out there. And by getting help doesn't make you any less of a person. It doesn't make you any weaker. It actually makes you stronger because you're trying to. You're trying. And I think that's the biggest thing is you can't tell somebody with mental health problems to get over it where it's all in your head because just because you can't see that pain on the outside just because it's not a physical pain you can see it does not negate the fact that that person has so much pain internally that their brain is going through such a challenging time and the more we can be aware of that and the more sensitive we can be to that the more educated we're going to be as individuals, as family members, as loved ones. Don't give up on that person just because they're pushing you away. Because grant you, the last thing in the world they want is to not feel loved. And I know that because I'm speaking from personal experience. I tend to push people away. I tend to just seclude myself in crawl in a hole because that's what most people do that are depressed and it's easier because you don't want to burden other people with your problems but don't let that person push you away be there for them even if you just have to be a shoulder to lean on or a shoulder to cry on just be there be that be there for that person because that's what they really need they just need love they just need to know they're supported and know that just because they don't call you back or they don't text you back it doesn't mean that they don't care they don't love you it's just they're going through something it's like an illness a chronic illness that they just have a hard time managing and the worst thing we can do is leave that person is um, turn our back on those people because it takes a really strong person to support someone going through mental health issues and it takes a really strong person to get through it on their own but that's just my piece i like to do more videos like this i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you all have a wonderful day comment below if you have a loved one that suffers from severe depression or anxiety or any other mental health issues 
if you are a survivor of it or something, somebody that's going through it, because it's an ongoing thing. We'll go through it our whole lives. Just some days are better than others. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one. Thanks guys. guys, I wanted to talk you through some of these exercises. Right here you're seeing a reverse hack squat. This is really focusing on those glutes. I'm using about 45 pounds. I started with 35 and then I eventually moved to 50. I do about 12 to 10 reps and about five sets of those. These are awesome for that booty if you really want to work that booty. Now you're seeing some back squats. This is overall a wonderful lower body workout. Everybody needs to do squats to build those glutes, of course, some of your quads, and a little bit of your hamstrings as well. As you can see, I paused there for a second, really activating those muscles. And one thing you wanna do is just make sure your form is good. Go low weight if you have to. I'm only at 20 pounds until I perfect my form. I'm still a work in progress. Here is the Bulgarian split squats. I love these. They really work those glutes and lower body. And as you can see, I'm challenging my proprioception by adding two 10 pound plates so it's about 20 pounds above my head where I'm also working my core as I am challenging my stability at the same time and I, of course I do the other leg I do 10 on each leg then I do a superset with lunge jumps oh this is a killer superset guys you will not thank me for this in the morning <laughs> I am pretty sore uh, even looking at it right now. So I do 20, 10 on each leg, and then I go back to those Bulgarian split squats. Now you're seeing a single leg, I call it a glute press because it really works more your glutes. And I use this on the assisted pulling pull up machine at the gym. And you really just wanna get low, keep that neutral spine, and really activate those glute muscles. I love this exercise, it works really good. I'm about 140 pounds right here. I did go up to 150, but I took it down to about eight reps. I did five sets of those. Now you're seeing the abductor machine at the gym. This is really great exercise to really activate those hip flexors and get you nice and prepared for back squats or any kind of squats by opening up those hips. And you really wanna just work on that range of motion. I am doing a tempo of a one, uh, meaning I go out quick and then I go in two seconds. And then here you're seeing some front squats on the cable machine. Again, just really keeping that neutral spine going as low as you possibly can. I love this exercise, it's killer. I ended my workout there. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. So I just finished my workout and I'm like literally shaking as I had such a um, good hump day, leg day workout. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video I had put together for you of all the clips of my workout. And I hope you kind of enjoyed that beginning part. I just wanted to say that a lot of what I was talking about earlier just hits home for me. You know, I will talk about it as time goes on in my other videos. I have two parents. That, um, sorry. I was trying to do this without crying. Um, I suffered really bad from depression. And... I don't know how many of you have dealt with that in your life, but it's pretty tough. And I think that's why it really uh, hit close to my heart what happened recently with Kate Spade and her suicide. I got lucky. I got lucky because that person made it, but not everybody does. And my heart goes out to those who suffer from losing somebody of suicide. But all I can say is that you just need to 
to have empathy for others and know that they don't do things to be selfish. They do things because they're hurting. We need to look at it in a different perspective. So I know what gets me through a good day is like I've told you guys before is a good workout. So, you know, we just have to um, find something that makes us feel good. And I think that's the only way we can keep um, pushing on. Sorry, I'm sweating like a crazy person because I, again, I just got done. So if you guys want to hear more subjects like this, let me know, you know, this is not just a beauty and fitness. This is also much more. And, uh, I wanted to make it more of a lifestyle YouTube channel now because I like to include every aspect of my life. And I thank you guys so much for joining me in these adventures. And all I can say is have faith in yourself and have faith in others that uh, we can all come together and just uh, concentrate on what we love most. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm going to say goodbye again. So I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks for listening to everything guys. I think that again, like I said before, the more we talk about it, the better people feel more open to talking about their stories and sharing their stories and not letting this stigma continue with mental health illness. So if you have a loved one that suffers from it, just keep giving them hugs. Keep letting them know you're there. Keep contacting them. Don't give up on them. Okay. I think it's the best thing you can do to help somebody. And if you're in it, know that you're not the only one. There's a lot of us out there that suffer from it. So thanks guys for letting me share parts of my story. And I hope to open up about more as time goes on and I feel more comfortable sharing more with you about my PTSD. And um, I even had some eating disorder issues through the years. So uh, I like to definitely help those who suffer from it as well and talk about it. And I appreciate you guys listening.